Hello guys, Matthew Moss right here, also known as Chris Lyson Entertainment, and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a really nice looking optical slash lens flare inside of Natron. Uh, first I want to give a shout out to David Wood VFX, whose uh, tutorial on how to create a lens flare in GIMP is what has been inspired for this tutorial. But as you can see here, uh, we can see all the nodes that comp composites that uh, lens flare you see up here and also a control uh, group that allows us to independently control various aspects of the uh, model and I'm going to show you how to create it so we're going to go and open a new project and as you can see we're completely empty here so first I want you to press tab and type in Woto and this will be our first uh, node in the long chain. Next in output check RGB so it will actually show in the viewer because otherwise we'll just create a basic mask which is not what we want. And afterwards go to the draw bezier tool which is the grayed out one right here and just hold it and click on the and just let go when you your mouse is hovering over the eclipse tool and then holding shift drag out a circle like so okay once we have created the shape click on roto1 and press tab again now just now type in blur and what the blur will do is it will almost feather out the outside while having a bit of opacity in the center so I want you to change the size of this to 95 and as you see it has created it has blurred out this entire shape okay now I want you to press tab and create another Woto node now this one once again I want you to go over this grid out tool and click on the rectangle tool this time around now through the center about here is uh, create a rectangle uh, mask uh, as you see here and this will be the streak of the uh, lens flare okay now I want you to create a another blur node to go along with the new um, Woto node this time you might see next to th this little scale there uh, is a 2 button uh, and when you select it, it will give us the ability to change the values of the X and Y scale independently. So for the X value, uh, type in 500, and for the X and for the Y value, uh, uh, type in 20. Uh, this will become down to personal preference, and you might want to mess around with it depending on your project and what kind of lens flare you want. Okay, now highlighting blur one press tab and type in merge and ideally uh, as like a housekeeping thing have it centerized with viewer one you don't need to do this th that uh, centerizing part but I find it helps with organizing quite well and now put highlight click on the little arrow at the bottom of the node and drag it over the merge tool and you can see it's uh, it's slowly come together you can see the basic idea of it uh, you might also want to change the size because of this because I have discovered that it's not like After Effects where if it goes over it might, um, you know, won't clip. If we try to scale that down using the transform tool, it will clip and it will give a very undesirable effect. So I'm going to change the value down to 400, 350. Yeah, that would do. Okay, so now I want you to duplicate no node tree right here by going Control C and Control V or the Mac equivalent, which is using the command instead of Control, so Command C and Command V. And now with the what with the blur on this firstly duplicated node, uh, I want you to change. I want you to press the two button again and change the value for the X. Um, parameter to 200 and the Y value to 5 
again, this will be coming down to personal preference, but I find this is a good starting point. Okay, now create another merge um, node, and we'll merge this with our, no uh, our original, um, our original uh, circle nodes, and then we'll merge this new merge node with the one we originally created. Um, and I think I'm going to change the value to 10. Next, uh, we're going to want to duplicate the rectangle node tree using, uh, again, using command C and command V if you're on Windows. And this time, for the values, I would like press on the two button again to disable this individual values and just set it to and set the blur to 200 in size. Once again. Create a merge tool and set A to be um, blur two. Now go and put merge uh, the merge three node with the merge one node, and we have now got a basic range flare. Uh, again, this will come down to lots of experimentation and and um, personal preference, but for the sake of the tutorial, it doesn't look bad. Okay, so say say you actually want to color it to be something. How you, how would you go about that? Uh, so uh, in order to do that, you need to select the merge one node and press tab. Now type in grade, and this will will give the color um, for the um, for the lens flare. Uh, now on the white point, click on this little color dialog. And if you want to go like red, uh, the colors are kind of inverted. So for if you want to go for red, you have, we have to be the blue to green range, like so, and the actual intensity you want it to be. I'm going to go with a nice blue kind of color, because that happens when you go over the top. So about there is, I think looks good. Uh, next, if you actually want to control it and actually place it in your actual composite, I like. To the gray tool and press tab and this time we want to spawn in a transform node like so now if it's not centered uh, you can change the value of the center uh, with this little um, settings over here that's called center so I'm going to change the 608 to um, 900 okay that was nice that was for the Y value so or 1200. This will take a bit of playing around, but uh, now uh, we've got a fairly functional lens flare that can be used in your project. Uh, as a little housekeeping thing, uh, you can create a backdrop entity and just have this kind of highlighted across the entire tree, like so. And uh, for the name, we want to call that this the backdrop lens flare. So we actually know what it is if we ever want to look it back. Uh, optionally, you can put a glow node ov over this, but it will depend on what you need. But uh, you also optionally can change the color uh, to the color of the, the actual lens flare if, as an optional extra, like so. And there you go guys, that concludes our tutorial on how to create a lens flare inside of Natron. I uh, hope this will be useful to you because there's no actual plugin right now. So hopefully this will help you get around and create some very nice optical such lens flares inside of um, Natron. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.